What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews and I got another video for you regarding ProRec. And so I got some ProRec news. I want to talk about the SP15, which I just did a video on. Talk about some of their uh, sold out and unstock issues. Uh, some some notes I heard talk about the 3500. A lot of people have been asking me the difference between 3500 and AB. We're going to go over that. Uh, talk about a couple of my favorite systems still. And then just go into basic uh, little items on their website that maybe some people didn't know about. So we got a few things to talk about ProRec. Hopefully we'll get into it real quick and just get uh, to the point here. But I wanted to say thank you for tuning in. I've been uh, reviewing ProRec since 2018. I can't believe it's been about five years. Uh, one of the first YouTubers to ever put ProRec on YouTube, I believe, in my opinion. And... It's been a great journey. They continue to make great products. Uh, I'm glad that I have been able to talk with ProRec and get a couple items from them for review. I purchased a lot of stuff myself. And I'm just uh, proud to be working with ProRec and proud to be bringing it to you and giving you some good reviews on it. So if you're interested in ProRec items, please like, subscribe, and share because you'll probably see it first here on DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. So thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I also do other kinds of tutorials, hooking up items, talking about soft DJ softwares, talking about other random items that I review. So check it all out on my channel, DJ Martini Mouse Reviews. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, let's go straight to the news of the day on the SP15. So we have to hit up their website and we just basically go to audioprorec.com right here, audioprorec.com click on their website and we'll bring it up here so their home page now we will be talking about they they do have some sales right now in the penis day. i don't know how long they'll go i'll try to get this video out a couple days after fourth of july but uh 2024 but who knows how long they'll have the sales but just know that prorec does offer a lot of little uh emails that you can get like 10 percent off just know if you use my code cool j martini 81 you will get 11 percent off uh, your purchase at checkout so check that out as well save yourself some money and create some get some great deals because pro rec is all about great deals and value for the product that you get so let's get into it let's talk about right away what i want to get to about the sp15 we'll go to their line arrays and hopefully they'll have the sp down here somewhere <laughs> nope. all right we'll just search it sp 15. All right, so they have the SPX, which is their subwoofer line, and then they have the SP15, which is their PA speaker right here. So you notice it does say it's sold out at this time. I just want to let you know that they told me, I talked to ProRec, they said it's going to be about two to three months from, I talked to them probably in the middle of June, end of June, and it is out. All right. So that's looking July, August, September, September. Hopefully they'll get some stock in. I still think it's a great speaker. I'm glad I came out and I was able to do the review. Uh, 240, a lot of people haven't picked up on them. And I think that's why they sold really quick with the limited stock that they have. They will get more in supply and demand these days uh, with everything that's going on happening uh, for everybody, but they are going to get more stock in. So. Just keep an eye on it. Could take a couple months, but they will get more stock in. I still think it's worth the wait with its 400 watts of power, Class D amplifier, three band EQ built in with the digital display and digital presets. Can be a monitor or a PA speaker. A lot of value in the price that they're putting those out at. So check it out. Check out my review. All those good things. So great speaker. Sorry they're sold out right now, but they are coming back and they will be in stock in a couple months give them some time uh, a lot of small companies uh, that are trying to grow have these kinds of issues they have a couple products that they are out of one that they are out of is the 8000 right here great system great uh, especially if you're in a band or things like that uh, along with the 6000 would be another if you can't get this one look for the 6000 the 6000 is a great option uh, to pick it up so let's go see if we can find the 6000 down here let's go to the next page 
right here, 6,000. Instead of 18 inch subwoofers, they have 15 inch subwoofers and you just lose one of the arrays. They still have fantastic arrays here, uh, similar to the 4,000, but you're gonna get two 15 inch subwoofers, which is awesome. So, just letting you know, you can't get the 8,000. 6,000 is a great backup to that option. And it's the cost you 659, great value, great price point, great inputs, outputs. And it's been reviewed by some really uh, big YouTubers out there. So 6,000 is growing in popularity, also used with a band. And they said it worked out pretty good for them uh, for the price point. So once again, sold out on the SP15. Wanted to bring that out to you. Also, uh, wanted to talk about uh, some of my favorite systems out there still uh, that are available. Uh, another thing is the 800EX is currently out of stock uh, too. Uh, very, very cool speaker. Very similar sounding to the Evolve 30, but looks almost similar to the Evolve 50. So very cool speaker, sounds great, and it's a great pickup, but they are currently out of stock on that. And then here we go right here. So this is a great picture right here. So this is the 3500 and the AB. A lot of people have been asking me, what's the difference between these? They look very similar. Well, the 3500 has a 15 inch subwoofer that pumps out 300 watts RMS and 100 watts to the top speakers. The AB speaker is a 12 inch subwoofer with 400 watts, but it pumps out 100 watts to your top speakers. These top speakers are the same. They're the same speakers from the 3000 and the ProRec AEF. And so no difference there, just the power of the subwoofers and the size of the subwoofers. So it's going to be up to you. Do you need a 15 inch subwoofer or do you need a 12 inch subwoofer? 12 inch subwoofer is going to have a little bit more power, but the 15 inch subwoofer is going to offer you a little bit more lows, even at 300 watts. Uh, frequency wise and give you a little bit more deeper lows, but it will pound pretty hard. So it just depends on what you want to carry. If you don't need to carry a big 15 inch subwoofer, you're doing smaller gigs. Yeah. You're doing uh, background music and maybe just occasional, you know, 20 people on the dance floor, the AB will work fine. But if you want a little bit more, uh, I would recommend the 3,500 for that. So that's the big difference. If not, they have very, very similar, uh, backs on them. They both have Bluetooth. So let's see what, yeah. So they have a lot of the same connections and everything. So really, really similar uh, hookups and everything. Very, very similar. Let's go to the 3,500 so I can show you that my example of that. So RCAs, you can take a phone and hook it straight up to it through Bluetooth. You can hook it up through a 3.5 millimeter jack. They have the professional. And that's when I was just saying, professional hookups with the quarter jack or the XLR inputs. They have mix outputs, so you can hook up any other powered or PA speaker to them. So any brand, it doesn't matter. They don't have to be ProRec speakers. They can, you can hook up whatever you want with the outputs to on the back of these amp boards uh, for a lot of the items. So something I wanted to point out there. So I get a lot of questions on that. Once again, you can hook up any other powered speaker, no matter the brand. Uh, even, you know, if you wanted to hook up another amp to other, uh, another amp and then use that amp to power other passive speakers, you can still combine systems together. No problem. So something to point out, very, very cool. A lot of hookups, all that kind of good stuff. Those are the big differences, the 3,500 and the AB subwoofer on the AB 12 inch, 3,500, 15 inch. Uh, this subwoofer has a little bit more power on the AB, but still a 12 inch versus a 15 inch array speakers, the same. Okay. All right. Another thing they do have the SP 15 X. A lot of people have been asking me, how are these subwoofers? They're going to be good. Uh, I haven't got one yet. I'm maybe working on getting the SP 12 cause I could use a 12 inch subwoofer in the future. So that could be a future video. And then I'll let you know how those amps and everything work, uh, those types of things. But I already have a 15 and an 18 uh, inch subwoofer. So uh, not the SPX, but uh, I have had the PR18, which is one of my favorite subwoofers in stock right now. So it's a great uh, 18 inch subwoofer, 349, great price. 
um, just to let you know. And since we're right here, notice the right next to it here. If you go to the accessory part right here, the PA accessories, they offer the ProRec replacement subwoofers. And I, I hopefully everybody knows this, but you can buy accessory parts if things break or whatever goes on. But this is very cool. Look, look at all these subwoofers you can buy a la carte. That means you can pick up one subwoofer with the amp board on the back. Uh, you can buy extra arrays. You can buy for every system. So you could actually a la carte uh, an 8,000 right now. If it's out of stock right now. Well, they have, it looks like, uh, it says they have stock in this, so you can get an, uh, an active subwoofer right now and it's 589. So you could piece, I don't know what the price would be if you all carded one, it might be a little bit more, but, uh, you could, if you wanted to go that way too, they have all the arrays, the 3000, the PR212, you just need certain pieces or you want to add more, you could definitely do that. Just know that if you have a whole system right now, say like you have a 4000, um, make sure if you added another one, you would have to get the active array. You can't just get a passive uh, speaker for the 4000 because it won't be able to power it. So something to put out. But if you had a 6000, you could buy another active subwoofer and then you could add another subwoofer, a passive one to that one. So, but like I said, if you add to your, or if you have a whole system already and you're adding to it, make sure you get the active subwoofer. Uh, 4,000 is the only one that doesn't have an output for a passive sub, but all the other ones. So just to let you know, if you are adding to your already, you already have a, a pro rec uh, system, except for the 4,000, make sure you're picking up the active subwoofer on that. Okay. And, and that would be on the 4,000 too, but active subwoofer. Uh, you can't buy a passive subwoofer for your, because it's not going to be able to power two of those subwoofers, okay? So, but you can add to any of the systems with another power subwoofer, okay? All right, that makes sense, clear as mud, all that good stuff. But I just wanted to kind of put that in there that you can a la carte all these pieces if you need to add more or do whatever you want to do, including the arrays. They have the arrays if you just want to buy the arrays as well. Okay. So something a lot of people might not know as well. Uh, a lot of accessories that they have, you know, microphone systems, subwoofers, PA systems, those types of things, the all-inclusive line arrays that I talk about all the time. The 800EX, like I said, out of stock. The 8000 out of stock and the sp15 out of stock but they did say in the future they're not discontinuing them or anything or anything crazy like that it just they are currently out of stock and it's going to take a couple months to get all their stock back in but they are coming and then finally we'll just wrap it up if you can't find the 8000 right now like i said the 6000 is a great option uh, to back that system up um, so great option or you might upgrade, in my opinion, from the 8000 to the PR212. That is another great option uh, at a great price. Very powerful, very professional equipment there. Uh, so if you can't get the 8000, the 6000 is a great option. If you want to go a little cheaper, if you want to go a little bit more, the PR212 is a great option as well. The 800EX is out of stock. Yes, but another option if you wanted to go a little bit smaller the club 2000 is a great option if you can't get the 800 ex right now and that is surprising but that little sub kicks butt and those arrays are a lot louder than you would think so uh, if you were to pick up two that's a great little mini system just an option there uh, club 3200 is a cool speaker like i said cosmetically it looks very cool but I would recommend the Club AEF, one of my favorite speakers, sets, uh, great, has everything you need to get started. One of one of the systems I put my feedback into, and ProRec came out with the system, and it's a great system with the ProRec 3000 arrays mixed on the 3200 subs, and you merge them, and you get the ProRec AEF. It's a great system. Pool parties I've used it for, outdoor events uh, for 100 people. Indoor events for 100 to 150 people have done it, been there, done that, and it's worked really good. 
still using it today. Um, and then the 4000 is one that I use a lot too. So very, very cool speaker uh, with the 4000 because it has those really loud arrays and then it has a big 18 inch uh, powered subwoofer. So very, very cool there. So those are some options there that are still in stock and they're still great systems to start off with. So very, very cool systems. Other than that, I think that's all I wanted to get into, show you some of those systems. So some of my favorite ones, ProRec coming out with great systems, great options. If you have any other questions, let me know. I wanted to show uh, the stock issues and I also wanted to show you guys the a la carte way that you can pick up different systems and hook up different things together. And you can buy them separately if you didn't know that here on the website. So I just wanted to point that out as well. This has been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. Please like, subscribe, and share if this is helpful at all, and we'll see you really, really soon on my next video or tutorial.